What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex and today we'll be talking about brake tools. Starting off, first tool that you are gonna need is gonna be a wind back tool that you're gonna have to invest in. This is a simple one. I bought this for, I don't know, like maybe five pounds or something like close to that. Uh, as you can see, really simple to use. You've got like a plate over here that rests on the end of the caliper and then as you turn the handle, this kind of like rod pushes in the, the piston to wind back. So obviously you can put the new pads in. Uh, you know, like I said, five pounds, not, not like too much to ask for, but I would highly recommend get, uh, there's another one kind of like a ratcheting with a ratcheting mechanism, well, which is basically like two pads. And then as you like, you know, uh, turn the ratchet, the pads kind of like expand. I would recommend that more than this one uh, for the main reason that that one you can do both sliding calipers and fixed calipers whereas this one you can't do fixed calipers because there's no way you can put this in to push like let's say uh i don't know like four pistons on a brembo or something like that any fixed caliper doesn't matter how many pistons they are because you're trying to push both at the same time so you can't do that with this so i would highly recommend investing in that one i'll see if i can put a picture around somewhere there Probably price wise, I reckon it's going to be maybe like 10 15 pounds. Might be a little bit more expensive, but I would say it's kind of like more of a proper tool compared to this one. Now, you can use like big pliers like these to like push back the piston. I don't really recommend them, it is a way, but you can like damage the paintwork off the caliper. For instance, again, if it's like I don't know, like a fixed uh, Brembo caliper, which is all nice and shiny. You know, if you don't want to damage the paint, you know, don't use this. Is there a way that you can do it? Yes, but do I recommend it? Uh, not really. Uh, so uh, this goes for like front brakes, which is kind of like straightforward pushback calipers that you can use. Uh, moving on, something with the calipers that you are going to need is over the time, you are going to get seized calipers and you're going to need to change them. Obviously, uh, you know, you're going to have your flare spanners to you know, loosen the connection, the fitting, so you can take it off without damaging it. Um, good tool to purchase and to like, invest to is just, like uh, these uh, brake hose, uh, uh, brake hose clips over here. Really nice tool, inexpensive, probably like another five or eight quid or whatever. Basically, what it does is obviously you got like rubber brake lines most of the time. You just clamp it and then you, you don't let air go into your uh, system uh, to make life easier. So when you're gonna bleed it, you only need to do like, you know, just a, one or two times to bleed it and then, you know, it's okay. Rather than like, if you take off the hose off the whole caliper and then, you know, that's the, that one starts dripping, you're gonna lose brake fluid, that's the first thing. Second thing, air is gonna get in the system. So you're gonna have to like bleed the system, which is gonna take more time. With this, you just clamp it on, like, you know, around about, I would say, maybe in the middle or as close as to the fitting as possible. Obviously, you know, making room to work uh, while removing the caliper. And then, you know, once you fit in the new caliper, you just like literally unscrew it, take off the clip off, you know, take it off. Then, you know, you just play it like, you know, probably like two, three pulls and then, you know, the air is out of the system. Inexpensive tool, I would recommend at least one. Probably I might get another one because sometimes, you know, uh, you might get two calipers or whatever, but at least have one. You know, this one, if you just type in, I don't know, like brake hose clamp, there's different ones out there. I prefer this one that's got like a screwing type. So you kind of like, you you know, you can... Uh, adjust to any like size uh, brake hose where there's like a really small one or like a big one rather than those kind of like clip one star ones with this one you can kind of feel like when you tighten it when it goes all the way and you got like a secure like clamp so that's why I prefer this um, lastly I'll be talking about for rear brakes is gonna be your wind back tool now this one really important if you're gonna be doing rear brakes Obviously, you got um, calipers nowadays that they go like, um, or not nowadays, but in general, you got calipers that you need to push back and then kind of like twist left or right, depending on the manufacturer. This one, really inexpensive. I mean, I bought this, I don't know, like maybe like 20 pounds online. You know, nothing too crazy. It's a universal, I think it's a 21 or 22 piece. 21 piece, you know, wind back uh, for your calipers. 
obviously you get two handles left or right and then different adapters it is a little bit dirty because uh, you know i've been using it and then i haven't been really cleaning it but i should overall like you know inexpensive tool you don't need to go crazy on this i mean it did happen one like my handles on this one because i bought it to one of my mates and then you kind of like uh used like another bar over it because the caliper was seized and then you were trying to like push it back and kind of like bend the handle you know i still bend it back and it works fine no problem uh you know as, as you can see here it's supposed to be straight and it is kind of like a little bit i don't know like offset or something like that you know nothing to worry about you can always bend it back it still works fine no problem so really good to invest in when you are going to be doing rear brakes now your shop might like uh, include this tool uh but you know it's good to have one like kind of like this kit on your own just in case because it could be missing some adapters like common adapters that you might need or you know you know it could be the case could be anything it's a basic tool like this the inexpensive really like 20 pounds is not, not much to ask for so i highly recommend to get one of these one tool that you don't really need is kind of like a brake pipe flare tool the one that let's say the brake pipe uh copper brake pipe is corroded and then you need to like create a new like uh copper pipe with the fitting there is a tool for that to actually like uh, create the fitting so you can put you can connect it back that tool i don't know like it cost maybe like 40 50 pounds maybe a little bit more i'm not really sure that too i did use a couple of times i had to borrow from one of my mates that he has it is it essential not really because you know you're not going to come across on you know brake pipe uh, replacing and, ma and making brake pipe fittings all the time unless you kind of like specialize in that area so then you should invest in one but that one you know i wouldn't really invest in it maybe like you know you might need it once or twice you know your shop might have one so you know I wouldn't really bother but you know it's really down to you if you want to like invest in that one uh overall i mean those are the tools i will invest in brake tools not i haven't talked anything about measuring which is going to be like a venia caliper and then a pad like um a little like a uh, tool for measuring pads which is kind of like simple ones uh i'll probably do another video on those maybe in the future but overall in you know for making brakes this is kind of like the basic tools that i have and probably you can do like most of the brakes now if it comes down to like electric hand brakes then you're gonna need kind of like a diagnostic tool to wind them back some cars you can do it from like inside the car but you know that's a whole another like different story over there as for basic mechanical like uh braking systems whether you've got your regular like hand brake and you know your regular like calipers in the front these tools you know ought to do the job no problem uh, like I said, this one, I will I will go with the ratcheting uh, ratcheting one that I'm gonna put a picture because this one is kind of like that one. Obviously, because you got the handle, you got a bit more leverage. This one, because you like you need to spin it, you don't have as much leverage. So if if it was for like ease uh, of uh, winding back the caliper, uh, winding back the piston inside the caliper. Sorry about that. I'll probably go with the other tool. So you know. You, this one, don't get me wrong, still works, but as for efficiency, I would probably go with the other one. Well, guys, that was the video. Hope this video was informational for any guy out there, DIY or whatever, who's trying to do like breaks. These are the tools that I would recommend investing in when you're working as a service tech, uh, as you're gonna be doing breaks, you know, every now and then. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you wanna leave a comment down below, tell me what you think about the video. Maybe there are other tools that I didn't mention, which, pretty much they are going to be because there are like millions of tools out there uh let me down uh, let me know down below in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video